Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today in this video what I got going on for you guys is I wanted to discuss the Albino and Pareto SBs which are coming very very soon now loaded for September 23rd on sneakers via a draw so we're just going to kind of get into some of the details about this release retail you know how it looks you know some of the resale prices we got at the moment things like that and it should load up on you know StockX soon other you know marketplaces it's right now only on goat at the moment and i think like alias but we'll just kind of get into it and discuss what we got going on so if you guys want more content like this feel free to check my instagrams any of that down below again just trying to like let's say 203 likes on this video i'm gonna make it random so if we could do that i'd be great feel free to drop that like below and comment below let me know your thoughts on these SBs. Are you going for them? Are you not? That'd also be good to know. And of course, if you want to check out my friend and I's group down below, get access to the undermarket sneakers we do every single day. Been doing undermarket carbon foams recently, St. John's dunks on the way, tons of SBs. So you can get access to that all down below on that wait list. And you can also see, you know, showing people how to make the most from your sales. So don't sell yourself short, you know, learn how to make the most from your shoes when you're selling them if you are a reseller. And yeah, that's what we offer to you guys. So start getting those deals. Again, available to Canada, Europe, Asia, wherever you're at, you can get those deals or again, information that is going to help you become a better reseller and you can read our reviews as well so i hope y'all will enjoy and let's get started and discuss how you guys can cook these sbs you can cook them with us too and we'll definitely have some for deals hopefully so first things first again discussing the albino and proto excuse me the albino and proto and nike sb collaboration again dropping september 23rd 10 a.m eastern time gonna be a 10 minute draw so you're gonna have 10 minutes to enter this one and don't forget when it comes down to these draws you have 10 minutes to enter you don't have to enter in the first two minutes you can wait until 10.05. You can wait till 10.08. It's okay to wait a little bit longer and enter the draw. It actually might increase your chances if you wait a little bit. If you've never done that before on your account, I just want to say start trying that because eventually after a while, it you know, it it doesn't really matter. But I, I, I've always noticed, like I went back in, I'm trying to think if it was 2020 or 2021, but when the Union Jordan 4 off New York uh, dropped on sneakers, right? That pair. I remember I entered the draw with 10 seconds left, barely got in time. My payment literally got in when there were zero seconds left. Like it confirmed and there was probably zero or one second left on the clock. I was in the middle of a video too that I was making, but that pair, I ended up copying it. And I think the reason that I ended up copying that pair was because I entered the draw late. Most people are entering the draw right at the start, like right when it opens. So if you think about it, you might increase your chances when you're entering the draw when there's a little bit less people entering it. but Again, there's so many different factors that comes into like how Nike makes these decisions on when people hit or not, especially when it comes down to a draw. But I do think that tip is somewhat helpful. But $130 retail we got also. So just, just remember that tip. Try it if you haven't. I'm just going to give that out, you know, just because why not? But again, you can see all the different um, colors that we have on the insole. And these are supposed to be representing the different colors of like jujitsu belts. Like as you kind of, you know, level up and progress through, uh, you get different colored belts. And that's basically what we got going on. That's also what the shoelaces represent. I'm trying to see. Okay, so it doesn't have a really a picture of the shoelaces. Interesting bag that we got for these also. It looks like a, you know, like a lunch bag almost. But, you know, it's 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 pretty interesting. Yeah, you know, how what, what they got, you know, going on. But yeah, you can see, look. Jujitsu meets skate. So basically that's the idea of this collaboration. Like Albino and Pareto is a big like jujitsu company. They make a lot of like uh jujitsu like sportswear per se, like uh like G's, you know, like stuff that like people, you know, are, like wearing um whenever you know they're competing in like a jujitsu match. I believe they make belts and other stuff like that. So pretty cool, but overall very unique SB. You can see kind of the canvas design that we have here. This kind of looks suede but i believe i believe on the outside here this is definitely a canvas material no doubt about that and I, I, this might be a suede but i'm pretty sure that is canvas as well so we got mostly a canvas sb usually people aren't a fan uh, of canvas material but you can see we also got the albino and Prado logo back here in the heel a nice little touch i think it you know kind of fits with the overall theme kind of like this black and cream um and kind of like this white colorway we got in the sneaker as well so kind, kind of a more simple one but that's what we got for this uh drop coming soon but aside from you know some of the basic details drop time you know some of the tips i can give on sneakers like you know waiting a bit to enter the draw using you know a couple different accounts different payment methods you know jigging your address on accounts all the type of stuff that you know again we can also mention in the group down below like we can really help you with that if you're like actually like really needing a pair of these like we can we can help you out but again i'll be an umpredo like if you're kind of like wondering uh what they do like here you go like you can see like it's like jujitsu like streetwear and kind of like not, not not streetwear but like sportswear like what you would wear in like a tournament or like maybe even practicing so that's kind of uh you know what i'm trying to get at but also, you guys can see, again, the current prices on these on GOAT right now at the moment. You can see they're all over the place, all over the place. Most, uh, you can see some are at 407, some are at like 
you know, 500, somewhere around 1,000. Again, really just depends who got the back door and who has a pair right now. You can see there's some guys that clearly have a couple pairs because some of the sizes are at the same price. So that's most likely the same person, right? Just setting, you know, all the sizes, you know, at the same price across the market, uh, or at least on the sizes they have. Like for, for example, whoever has 10.5, and 7.5 and 7. Someone has, someone has 7, 7.5, and 10.5 because all those sizes are at the exact same price. So there's one guy with all those right now. But aside from that, discussing the back doors on these, you know, what else will probably happen? Like there's a, there's a few issues that have happened with the sneakers. Some people just won't get them, you know, they'll hit on sneakers, but they just won't get them delivered because, you know, they'll go missing in distribution or something. Uh, and then also you got to mention the fact that, you know, some skate shops will backdoor some of their stock, things like that. But not all skate shops do that. You know, like some are honest, like uh, I'm, I'm back in Charlotte right now. But when I was uh, in Charleston, I had a local skate shop. They were 100% honest. I love how they drop their stuff. They would, you know, post in their story whenever they had random, you know, like SBs in. Like they did it for the black gums and gray gums and white gum SB. Sadly, when they did that, I wasn't in town. But again. Similar stuff will happen for this SB. Just make sure you're following your local skate shop. Again, I'll put I'll put it on the screen right now. NikeSB.com slash shops. This is going to be your best friend. It's going to tell you if there's a Nike skate shop near you. Now, another thing you could do, of course, is go on Google. Look up skate shops near me. See if anything comes up on Google Maps. If you got one, maybe within like 30 minutes or an hour. Might be worth it to go and enter. Because you know some people are definitely going to be putting in some footwork and going around. And just entering everywhere they can for these. Because it's going to be one of those pairs that goes for a couple hundred dollars. I mean, go look at the recent SVs like the Udos and Crenshaws. They'll probably go to a very similar range. Where smaller sizes are going for less. Like 250 280 And then the bigger sizes are going for like 300 plus. You can see in the Udos, like the 9.5s and 10s are starting to do really well. Because those are sizes that are like very popular and in demand but there's just never a lot of them that end up you know hitting the market or end up you know hitting people's hands because they just aren't heavily produced i mean there was only like 50k made of those apparently so yeah it's just like you know lower stock will cause prices to be higher so just want to mention that uh with this uh albino and Pareto sv yes the prices will definitely be high on it i do see them dropping probably to a range of like 270 340 i could see them going there but there's definitely a little bit more hype on these and considering that's kind of like a jujitsu uh themed like kind of sb maybe we'll see like some you know uh people that are kind of in the ufc and or mma scene in them i think that would definitely be cool you know get them uh fresh maybe, maybe i should maybe i should hit them up like yo you need this pair you know make a deal hey maybe we you know let them know the history of it i don't know that could be hey it could be a business connection right there I'll, I'll try that i'm kidding but yeah aside from that uh that's really what i can think about these svs that are on the way it's a really cool one uh no doubt about that and i know that they're going to be really hard to get that that's just the one thing i can mention they're going to be hard to get look at the prices at most svs right now it's not the average person isn't getting them but aside from that some of the things i can mention right there and also more raffles are going to load up for this sv i know at the time i'd be making this video today there's literally zero raffles that have been posted for this there's one raffle that's been posted right and it was on albino and Pareto's instagram but it was like an in uh like an in-store raffle event and i think it, it was a five people that won it was either five people that won the pair but yeah you had to go to like to their booth at this uh jujitsu con slash master worlds event uh and i think they gave away they gave away five pairs or like five tickets, something like that. So that, this is already done, but they've given away like a couple pairs or something like that. But more raffles are going to come out for like local skate shops, online raffles. Just stay tuned for that and make sure you enter in them because it's going to be a very big opportunity uh, for you guys. But also these are just hard to get. Like it's one that you want to enter everywhere for because if you do hit a pair, it's one you can just keep and maybe even hold on to because this is definitely going to be like a collectible item in a couple years. Like you have to think about a lot of these SVs we've had this year. Jaritos. Crenshaw Skate Clubs, Uto SVs, these, like all of these two, three years from now, these are going to be the SVs that people are going to be like, man, those are grails or man, like where did you even get a pair of those? Like they're going to be very, very expensive and also very, very sought after because they're just going to be, you know, people, people like to get nostalgic and especially when it comes to sneakers that are cool and have some, you know, history or have like kind of a story over them, right? Like an SVs last over time really well. This is another thing I can mention. You can wear SVs later down the line, even if you had them for a while because they last. So that's another thing I can mention that's kind of great about the SB. So aside from that, that's really what I can mention about the Albino and Fredo SBs coming very soon. I hope you guys are ready, man, because this is going to be a competitive drop, but it's on sneakers. So good. Hey, that, that's, that's a good thing at the end of the day. That means we're going to get skate shops. We're going to get sneakers, going to get online raffles better than, you know, some of the recent SBs we've gotten that haven't even hit sneakers. So again, if you want more content like this, feel free to check me out down below. You can also subscribe and like down below. Don't forget, I think I said like two or three likes on this video, something super random, but 
Also, don't forget my friend and I's group. We're going to have bottles running for this drop so I can copy pairs uh, for retail. That's the main thing we are going to be specializing in. But also, the undermarket sneaker deals we do. Don't forget, like, you know, the St. John's dunks, showing you how to make the most from your sales, different stuff like that, because that's important. And you want to learn uh, how you can make more from your shoes, even on things like panda dunks. Like, what? Don't sell yourself short. Like, we got you. Look, 11.5, 250. So, learn it today. We got you. And I hope to see you all down below on that wait list. And you'll get a response within 24 hours and start cooking with us. So, that is it. I'm Tristan. Thank you guys. And I'm on that screen recording. And let me know if you're ready for this pair. Me personally, I'm a fan of it. I definitely, I definitely want them. I think it'd be like kind of a simple, easy to wear pair, but you know, demand is going to be sky high. So who knows? We'll see if we get them, but I'll definitely hit y'all with the reviews soon. So I'm Tristan. Thank you guys and catch y'all the next one soon. Peace. <laughs>